In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create Pinterest pins using the viral pin checklist so that you can create beautiful pins that are optimized to get the most clicks, shares, and help grow your following in addition to all the traffic that goes to your website. So for example, I've got an article here that I wrote on my blog post on how to make more pars in golf. And I created this pin down here that just looks like this, how to make more pars in golf. And I shared it onto Pinterest. And you're gonna notice down here that it's gotten shared 129 times. So it's gone viral most days. And I can verify that you know it's a viral pin because when I come into Clicky Analytics, how to make more pars in golf was the number two most viewed piece of content on the website. So I got 704 visitors that looked at 1,085 pages and the bounce rate you know, was 18%, meaning most people stuck around once they landed on the post and the, on my website. And you could see that the average time spent on my site was three minutes. So these are pretty good statistics. And as mentioned, the how to make more pars article in particular got the second most views at 196 besides my four golf exercises article. So both of these have been going viral on Pinterest, which is why you can see that this one's gotten 129 shares. So to create this image, I use a lot of free resources. So the first free resource I use to find background photos is Pexels. If you go to pexels.com, you can search for free photos that you can download without having to sign up for an account. You don't have to pay for them. They're free to download and free to use. The licensing on these photos, there's no restrictions. They actually want you to download and use them and create whatever you want. So there's no legal issue with using the free photos from Pexels. Another good resource is Unsplash. They also have free do whatever you want high resolution photos. So for example, we could scroll down here and find this mountain photo and then you're going to see the download button. So I could click download and it's just going to begin downloading. So right here it downloaded to my computer and you're free to use it however you want without having any license issues or attribution issues. So Unsplash and Pexels is where you want to go first to find different images and download them to your computer. Then I recommend finding a photo editing company like Canva and there's also PicMonkey. So Canva is free. You can create a free account and basically design all your images here in your dashboard and then download them when you're ready. They give you tons of different templates. And then PicMonkey, I think they have a free version but I'm, I know for sure that it's a paid program where they'll give you a free trial. So you're going to have to determine, you know, look at the different differences between PicMonkey and Canva. Personally, I think you're fine using Canva. I've always used Canva to create all of my images, but I know a lot of people out there also recommend PicMonkey. So I wanted to give you both options, but to start, I'm just going to be showing you how to use Canva. So under your dashboard, create a design. You're going to see these different templates. You can also use custom dimensions. And if you press the more button, it's going to drop down a bunch of other templates. So right here, the second row, social media posts, you're going to see the Pinterest graphic. So this is going to be the template that we use to build our Pinterest photo on Canva. So to create a viral pin, I've created a checklist that I mentioned you could download on my website, Ask Nick Foy. So here's the checklist that you'll be downloading. First, you want to start off with the pin size being a vertical image where it's 1106 height wise and it's 735 pixels wide. So when we come back here, you're going to notice the Pinterest that underneath it shows the dimensions 1102 by 735. So that's close enough. It's just a couple pixels off on the height. So you can go ahead and choose this the Pinterest template on Canva. And here you've got the tall vertical style image. So you're going to notice when you go on to Pinterest that most of the pins that get reshared and repinned and clicked on are these tall vertical images. I've also from time to time pinned the rectangle smaller images, but because of their size being small, they just don't pop out at you like the tall vertical images do. And the tall vertical images, since they're bigger, you get more space to create stuff that you can catch somebody's attention when they're scrolling through the feed. 
So you got to remember when they're searching different terms in the search bar and then they're scrolling through the feed, you're competing against all the other pins. So you want to be able to catch their attention, catch their eye so they stop on your pin and actually check it out. So that was step one, pin size 735 by 1106. Second, you want a high quality image. We don't want to use blurry photos. You want to make sure that the file you're downloading is large enough that the image stays crisp when you go to import it into your photo editor. So as mentioned, when you come here to Pexels, if I was to type in golf, it would pull up these golf images. So let me click on this one here. And, it, and under free download, when you hover the down arrow, you can see all the different sizes. So considering that the height of our image for Pinterest is 1106, we need the height to be at least 1106 or taller. So that leaves us with the large or the original. Now the original is gonna be quite a big file size. So if you're worried about file size, you can go ahead and pick the large size since it still is very big and will work for the Pinterest size that we're using. So go ahead and click download on the image that you choose. Make sure it's the large or original file size. So now that that's downloaded to my computer, I can come back here and I can upload it so that I can use it. So over here, you're gonna notice the sidebar and at the very bottom, there's gonna be one called upload. So go ahead and click that. And right here, this big green button that says upload your own images, you're gonna to wanna to click this and go into your downloads folder. And in a minute, we're gonna find the golf photo that downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and click open. Once that gets done uploading, we're gonna go ahead and all you gotta do is just click it and it'll automatically insert it over here to the right in your image. So now I can grab the image in the corner and I can size it, you know, however big I wanna size it. In my case, I always like to pull them all the way so that they're big enough to fill the entire height. And then you can move it around positioning it where you want it and then let go. So now we've got the background image. So let's go back to our checklist. You wanna have a click worthy title. So obviously once somebody sees your pin in the feed, they're gonna then read the title that you write on your pin. So this is where you want the big overlay text so that they can read it quickly and understand what your pin's gonna be about. And you want it to be click worthy. So a good resource is buzzsumo.com where you can find viral title ideas that help optimize your op the, the ability of your pin to go viral. Because if people are clicking these other articles that have these other titles, odds are it's gonna help you get clicks on your pin for using similar titles. So go to buzzsumo dot com and basically it's going to show you the most popular blog posts for the last year and you're going to be able to see how many social shares it's had so it says enter a topic or a domain to try out buzz sumo so in my case if i'm making a golf pin and i the blog title or the blog post that i'm making my pin for has to do let's say with the golf swing so i could write in you know golf swing tips and then press go and it's going to show me you know some article ideas that got the most shares on social media that were relevant to golf swing tips all right so now it loaded the results so we can see it's going to rank them in order of total shares over here so tips for perfect golf swing setup and posture it's a youtube video it got the most shares on twitter golf swing tips simple ways to learn how to swing a golf club so this would be a good title. It got shared a lot on Facebook. So we'll go ahead and use a similar title. So you could either copy this title exactly or you can change it up a little bit to vary it so that it relates to your blog post. So that's you know a tool that you can use to find different blog post title ideas. So coming back here, you can find the text button and this is where you can add text. They've got different text ideas for you where you can pre pick a preset design or you can customize your own text which is what I typically do so it's going to insert it over here and then I can start typing in golf swing tips which was the first three words and then simple ways to learn how to swing a golf club that would be like the next subtopic so we'll create a second text and we'll type in simple simple ways to learn how to swing a golf club. So 
simple ways to learn how to swing a golf club. And then you want to change the color so that it shows with your image. So in this case, we could change it to white. And then we can choose where we want to reposition it. So maybe over here to the left side of the flag stick. We'll bring this up here. And then when you click on the text, you're going to be able to choose the font, the size, the color. So for font, we want, you know, maybe a big alpha slab bold font here. So we'll go ahead and span this out so that it fits. And then I want to change this to white so I can come under color here to white. So there's what it looks like golf swing tips. And then I can bring the next one up and I can make it bigger as well. So we'll go up to 36. All right, so there's where we can adjust it then. So it says golf swing tips, simple ways to learn how to swing a golf club. And then in order to save, you would just come here to file, click save, and it'll save the image settings for you. So if this was it, then I could just come here and click download. You can download it in a PNG or a J JPEG file. You also have this PDF file if you want to turn it into a PDF. So typically I leave it as PNG and then I would just click download. Now, what I like to do with a lot of my images is I like to do a lot of overlays and make this a background image. So under elements, you can come to shapes and you're gonna find this square. There's all kinds of different shapes here. And then if you scroll further down, they've even got boxes if you wanna use like an outline shape. So I typically use the filled in square and I size it you know, bigger than the pin so that it, it'll automatically crop it so you don't have to worry about making it the exact perfect size here you can drag it bigger than your pin and all that excess will get cropped and then in order to show your image through you're going to want to come here to this little checker box and that's the transparency tab so i can pull the transparency down you know to like 50 and it'll start showing through the image on the other side and then you can come here and choose to make it lighter so if you want to make it kind of a white shadow and then in order to make the text come back forward on top of this white layer, because right now this white layer is covering up everything. So you can rearrange the order by going to the arrange button. So right now the white square is selected so I can click back and it'll push it back behind my text I could push it back again. So now I can grab my text again if I want to make any changes to it. So here we're going to highlight it and we're going to change it to green to see what green looks like. And then maybe I'll decide to go back to black since, you know, this is a white overlay. So you could play around with the Canva photo editor until you find, you know, the text font that you like, the color scheme you like. In my case, for this style of photo, I think we're going to go back to what we had and go ahead and delete this out. Uh, and we're going to change this back to white font because I kind of liked how it was originally. So all I got to do after I decide I don't want that overlay is delete the overlay, go back, readjust my font. So now it's changed. And then a lot of times what I like to do on my pins is I like to stick my website URL down at the bottom. So you can see this green bar here with the URL golfpracticeguides.com. So when I come back into Pinterest, I would grab the square again and then I would just adjust the size down to a long rectangle and you can pull out each side to make it big enough to fit the whole screen. And then of course, you know, I can make it be a white box or we can try a green box. You can even pick like a gray colored box. So you can play around picking the colors. I'll go with green again and then we'll have to go back in and find some text again. So down here you can just start typing in your url to your website golfpracticeguides.com make sure to change it so it's white so it shows up against the green background and then pick your font so we'll go with Arial on heavy we'll make that 32 so it's readable so it's bigger and readable all right so that looks like th that's how i want this pin to be we found the golf title using the bus sumo uh, so that we turned into golf swing tips simple ways to learn how to swing a golf club the background image We found on Pexels. It was free I made sure to download it in the proper size so that it shows up nice and crisp here on the Pinterest and Then we added in our URL down here at the bottom so people can see you know the source of the pin and what article and website it's going to 
So back here, let's go ahead and finish off the perfect pin checklist. So we've got the right pin size, we found a high quality image, we found our click worthy title on BuzzSumo, and then large readable text, you know, we made our text pretty big so that people can see it as they're scrolling. And then as you'll see on these pins, I blow it up even more and I make it really big as you'll see there. So that takes care of that checkpoint. File name contains keywords. So you want your file name to be keywords that you're trying to rank your pin for in Pinterest. So in this case, if I'm trying to rank this pin for golf swing tips, I'm gonna want the file name to say golf swing tips, which right here is where you can name the file. So it already auto filled in golf swing tips because that was the text it pulled from the photo. So I can go ahead and leave that as is, or I can edit it and add other words if I want, but we'll leave it as golf swing tips. So that's the file name. So now I can go ahead and download the file and that'll be the file name. So when I go to upload it into Pinterest, Pinterest will read the file name and it'll say, okay, this image is about golf swing tips because that's what they named the file. So that's what this checkpoint is. You don't want it to just say image with a bunch of numbers. You want it actually to be customized to whatever keyword you're trying to rank for. Then you want a well-written description of the pin. So let's go ahead and download this to our computer. And then while that's downloading, we'll go in back here to Pinterest and I'll go into my profile. So to add the pin, we're gonna come here to the plus bar to upload image. And we're gonna go into the downloads folder now that we just downloaded our image from Canva. So here it is, click open. And then if I wrote an article about the golf swing tips, I would paste in the article URL here. And then we'll click continue. And then it's gonna want the pin description. So this is the next step. Make sure you have a well-written description of the pin and the description needs to contain key words. So not only is Pinterest gonna look at your file name to figure out what the image is about, it's also gonna look at your descri description. So you wanna make sure that it's got the words golf swing tips, if that's what I'm trying to rank for. So learn the best golf swing tips that are easy to follow for beginners to help you swing a golf club. So a little description like that, and then I can give a call to action, click to see the article. So that gives them a call to action to click the read it button, so they'll, they'll go press the button, it'll take them to my article. And then I'll choose a board to save it to, and that's it. So that's the, you know, the checklist here. Make sure that we pick a big size, high quality image, click where the title, make sure the title's big. Make sure when we go to download the image, we have a file name with the keywords. And when we upload it to Pinterest, make sure the description has keywords as well so that you're telling Pinterest what your pin's about. And if you follow these steps, you're gonna give your pins a better chance of going viral and getting seen in the Pinterest search engine. So for example, back here, the search engine, if I typed in golf exercises, since I've written a blog post and created a pin around golf exercises, when I scroll down here, you're gonna see my pin right here. Four golf exercises to build your core muscles, click post link, and then you can see the little green bar at the bottom with my URL. So that's the pin that I designed for that article and it stands out when somebody's scrolling this page you know they're going to see my pin with the large text here and because i you know used the term golf exercises in the file name and in the pin description it helps it rank for this term so when somebody types in golf exercises that's how they're going to find this pin and therefore that's why this article is the one that's going viral getting 254 people through you know, sending most of my traffic because it's ranking so high in Pinterest. So a lot of people that are typing this in are seeing it and it results in traffic. So overall, this video, I hope it sheds some light on helpful tips on how to design a beautiful pin optimized to go viral. Be sure to download the checklist at asknickfoy.com slash, I believe it's perfect pin checklist. Let's go ahead and verify that. So asknickfoy.com slash perfect pin checklist so there it is you just type in this url and it's going to take you to the page where you can download that checklist